Hi Scorpio, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. This is Jacqueline with Universal Intuition. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm so happy and so thankful for all of your support. Truly, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all that you do for me, for su subscribing. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, donating, all the good stuff. Thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Jacqueline. Um, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. That way you'll be notified when I upload um, new videos. Also, I've been going live so you can um, get notified when I do my live videos. I would love to see you there. Um, let's see, if you're interested in a personal reading, I have openings for January. My email is in the description box below. So make sure you shoot me an email if you're interested in a personal. Um, and other than that, oh, go follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of me, Chino, and <sighs> Chino's my dog, love of my life. Um, and anything else like that, if you just want to say hi, I'd love to see your face. It's universal underscore intuition. That's also in the description box below in case you forget. Alrighty, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for the end of the year, end of... 2018 end of December I hope everyone's having a great holiday season happy holidays no matter what you celebrate I just hope that you're having a good time being good to yourself and having fun with friends and family all the good stuff I wish for you spirit what messages do we have for Scorpio, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. This is your end of December and end of the year general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We just have two more shuffles, Scorpio, and then we'll get to it. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on here. Spirit, what messages do we have for the end of December for Scorpio? Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. All right, we have the Knight of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, okay? I feel like something's very urgent. Like you have to get a message to someone or someone needs to get a message to you. Um, but it's more of a message. It's more of like, I gotta fight for this. I really gotta go for it. Like I'm hearing, I gotta, something about the gusto. Like I gotta, whatever that term is, something, something gusto. Anyways, I just, I feel like there is, yeah, you're like racing into something. Hey. Can y'all sit down? Thank you. Sorry. All right, let's see what else is going on for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Oh. Oh. You're cutting the fog. Yeah, you're cutting something out here. Um, yeah, there's something that you're trying to get away from here with the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Okay, there's been a lot of illusion, confusion, cloudiness um, mentally and um, mentally and emotionally. Okay, sorry, I went like this. Um, yeah, I feel like there's something you're just like, I got to get out of here. I got to go. I've been confused about a situation and you're just like, uh-uh, got to go. But it's like quick, like you're going to get out of there quick. Scorpio, you have good speed. Whenever you, whenever you need to do something, y'all do have good speed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're definitely dealing with someone who's being very, very manipulative, very sneaky Okay, they've been very sneaky around you because they haven't been truthful. Um, bottom of the deck for this group, we do have the devil. So it could be dealing with a, with a Capricorn. There's a lot of swords here too. I feel like it's an air sign that is like really getting under your skin. 
and you're and they've been manipulating you with the seven of cups and the seven of swords okay they've been playing off your emotions big time okay because scorpio you're very sensitive you're very open but this person has been taking you for a little bit of a ride okay and it's like oh i figured it out bye i'm out of here you're like i'm out bye and it's like they're not even gonna see this coming you're gonna you're gonna totally surprise them okay it could be a relationship for some of you could be something with work. You know, these are general readings, however this applies. And if this message is not for you, go check out your moon rising or Venus. Let's see here. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, um, and this kind of came up from the reverse. So I feel like there is... I feel like for some of you, it could be something having to do with work. And you are taking... You're taking what you have and you're running out the door. You're like, okay, got to go. That's it. I figured you out. I got to go. So you're holding on tightly to what you have. Um, yeah, there's like an escape. This is, this is kind of juicy. There's an escape here. Whoa. It's like, oh my God, what's that show I've been watching? It's new. It's called Dirty John. I forget what, what network it's on. Ah. Anyways, I can't think of details like that when I'm in the mode. Okay, I, like that's kind of what I'm picking up for you. It's like someone was like playing you. They were super sweet and like yada, yada, yada. Maybe maybe some of you have been helping them out financially a little bit too. And they've been like taking advantage of that. Okay, so Scorpio. But it's like, oh, I found out about you. Like, you know, they were sloppy and they mess, they messed up and they left something behind. They left like evidence behind. Okay. Not trying to give out any spoilers about that show. It's, it's pretty good if y'all want to go check it out. That's too many. All right, let's see. What else do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Yeah, I'm getting some major ringing in my ears on the left side. That's our feminine side. So it's like you have like um, it's like your guardian angels. Your your. It's like you. There was like a message. There is something like um, like a female is helping you out, even, and. They're, help, they're helping you get through the situation of getting away from this toxic person. Two of Cups, it popped up in reverse, okay? And that's going under the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, for a lot of you, this could be about your partner. This could be about someone that you've been in love with or someone that you've maybe started a relationship with recently and like it was going well and there was a lot of things going on, but there was something illusionary about it, right? And there was something that was off, something that was kind of like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. So, um, yeah, yeah. It was, it was someone in a relationship. For some of you... Um, could also be about work as well for some of you. Um, someone that you really cared about, maybe someone that you met at work. So could also be about a friendship as well. You could have like someone who you loved as a friend who was taking advantage of you and pulling that wool over your eyes. Scorpio, we gotta get you out of there, my loves. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so I feel like by you leaving this person, um, you might feel you might feel like out on your ass. You might feel like out in the cold. You might feel like you not you might not have enough. But really, I think it's them. I really think for most of you, it's them because y'all are the ones who have been supporting them, like financially, emotionally, giving them like your sweet energy and your sweet time. Because Scorpio, you're so sweet and so sensitive and so open to helping them. And like, it's like they kind of played you a little bit, okay? And with the Five of Pentacles, it's they're gonna be the ones out in the cold, not you, them. And that's what they're fearing. And they know that they're like, oh crap, there's Scorpio getting on their, on their horse. They're out of here. 
crap. This is definitely someone who's taken advantage of you. And I'm sorry this reading's going this way, but that's I feel like that's just what's happening here. But good for you because it looks like you'll be starting the new year without this snake, right? That's right, they're a snake. Temperance, beautiful. Yeah, it's about damn time, right? It's like you've your intuition's been up, you've been working on yourself, raising your vibration. You've been balancing out yourself, but they have not been balancing out themselves, okay? And this this is um this is angels, your guides, this is the universe stepping in and saying, Hey, it's time to make a move. It's time. The time is right now. Grab your money and run. <laughs> You know what I mean? And for some of you, like if you're living with someone, like it could be something like that. Um, and you're just like, listen, like this is not working out. Like I gotta, I gotta go like, or you have to go. It could go this could go either way or the other person is, um, you're gonna, you might have to tell them, hey, I need some space from you. I've real, realized a couple of things and we need to have a talk. But I feel like Scorpio, I don't even think like there's gonna be a conversation. I feel like you're just gonna be out because you're that pissed. You know what I mean? And rightfully so, I would too. I'm a Pisces and we're in same similar things that I feel like all water signs have. Whenever you finally come to that realization that something went super sour and someone has been playing you, lightning, you're out of there. Out. You're out. You're swimming away. You're gonna, I'm gonna sting you. Bye. <laughs> so good for you because you're gonna get this done by the end of the year. So that you'll start 2019 with a clean slate, not dealing with any uh, manipulators here, okay? Because spirit's on your side. You've been working on your balance. You've been working on figuring this out. You've been testing the waters. For some of you, I'm hearing testing the waters. And like, um, but then they're like, wait a minute. Beautiful. We also have the strength card. Exactly. This is going to be you in 2019 going through the new year. Okay. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Leo here, but I love that we have temperance and strength card. We have Sagittarius and Leo. I feel like if, um, if you feel like where you can't be strong, you can, you can depend on your Leo friends or your Sagittarian friends. I feel like fire energy is going to be so helpful for you to really put that boost under you and give you that self-confidence to get out of this situation you've got to and you already are i feel like a lot of you like know this and you're like oh you know what i mean and i'm i again i'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news here um, i'm sending you all my love and all my support no matter what but you are gonna have to rely on your inner strength okay you're gonna have to be strong through the situation because you've got to um you've got to save yourself here you've got to make sure you're putting yourself first and not dealing with this crazy person <laughs> okay let's see any other message that messages that we have for Scorpio this is for Scorpio Sun moon rising and Venus That's too many cards. Spirit, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Like, you've been, like, helping this person out with, like, their rent or their car payment or, like, you've paid some of their bills or you've just, like, you know, bought them groceries or taken them out to dinner. Like, you've been there for them. And now that you're gone, they're going to be like on their ass. Sorry, a bunch of cards fell. Okay. Okay. So we have the five of cups. Okay. Um, Scorpio, this is truly, I know this is a little bit heavy here, but five of cups is, you know, you might think about this for a while. You might. 
um, have to be in protection mode just for yourself to not let this person come back into your life and um, toxify your life again, okay? So this is you thinking about that, thinking about the past or thinking about what's been going on. For some of you, you already are experiencing this transition and getting away from this toxic person or this toxic situation. Could also be work work uh, related for some of you. Um, but remember with the Five of Cups, you've got two cups right behind you that are ready and embracing you with open arms, okay? That is about living in the moment and looking forward to the future, okay? These other two cups, okay? And that there is still love in your future. Um, it's just that this person was um, was playing you, okay? And then also bottom of the deck, oh my God. Yeah, I feel like once you leave this person, you could be walking into the arms of an Aries here, someone who's very strong, a warrior, okay? Because then we also have the... Um, yeah, fire signs are really positive for you right now, Scorpio. We also have the King of Wands, um, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or Aries. Yeah, definitely Aries for some of you. And then that person who's been helping you, who helps you get through this, is that's the one that you're supposed to be with, okay? Not this, this. Okay, and then right under that too, right under the Lover's card, we have the four of wands okay so some of you are literally running out the door and running right into the arms of the right person okay so i'm i'm glad that there's like a light at the end of the tunnel here because i was like oh no and under that we have the ace of pentacles so it's just going to bring new opportunities i feel like whoever is on your team whoever's in your tribe whoever your true friend is at the end of the day who's helping you you know they're going to help you get through this situation and leave this person or help you tell this person that they have to get out of your life or this job whatever the situation is about for you but then there's so many blessings on the way okay there's just so many beautiful things coming to you this is coming in 2019 okay so this might take a couple more weeks to get here but you know what i mean um like <laughs> literally literally out with the old and with the new like you try to play me you're gonna get burned like try me like just just try me you know so scorpio keep your heads up i'm sending you all my love i hope that no matter what you have a great holiday um i love you love you love you sending you all my support no matter what please again don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video